These are the stock reverse lights from my 93 Pathfinder. And as you can see, well, okay, I can see them doing a little bit. You can see a lot more in real life than you can on the uh, iPhone footage, but still, not the uh, brightest things ever. They're just a pair of 1156 bulbs, you know, exact same as what's in the turn signals. <laughs> so, um, yeah, not the most stellar. So I went on Fleabay, actually on Amazon, picked these up. They're, uh, yeah, I think I paid like 15 bucks for the set. Also got a Nissan fog lamp switch. Okay, so the way I want to wire this thing, I want it to come on only when the reverse lights are on and the switch is on. So basically I need a power feed from the reverse light circuit going through a switch on the console going back to the lights. Because of that, I don't want to tap into the wire at the back of the truck, have to run it up to the front of the truck and then run it back to the back of the truck again. And so I need a feed up here that I can tap into. So I do have these lights in the dashboard that I could just tap into. Or I could tap into the uh, switch for that on the transmission. But I've had this dashboard out twice now and I'm not looking forward to doing it again. So there's that option out, and I'd really rather not, you know, knacker my transmission wiring if I don't have to. So, um, had a look at the service manual. Found another option. So the service manual suggests that there's a connector number 80M. See if I can walk right into my own hood as usual. It suggests there's a connector 80M somewhere around here. I think it's this one, because that right there is a black wire with a red stripe. And the reverse lights have a black wire with a red stripe, or a red wire with a black stripe, I don't know if it matters. Kind of like zebras, it's one or the other. To verify that this is the correct plug, I went ahead and unplugged it, and then rode through the gears again, and the little lights on the dashboard don't come on. So, clearly this is the plug I'm after. And I've uh, gone ahead here, stripped a little insulation off the black wire, or the red wire with the black stripe, and then um, jumpered that to a little light here. So, yeah, I can see that through the crack under the hood, and that'll tell me if I'm on the right wire. Okay, you can see that in there. Put it in reverse. Yes! Okay, so I've run a wire from there into my uh, sort of loom wrap stuff here that I've got a bunch of other wires running into for other systems inside the truck. Obviously this isn't stock. And yeah, so I just fed it through all of this. You can actually kind of see it in there. But yeah, fed it through that. Wire comes in through a hole next to the clutch blanking plate. That relay controls power to my center console, the inverter, all that. I need to write all this stuff down before I forget it. Anyway, that leaves me with a puddle of wire on my floor, so now I need to route that into the uh, console box. Something to consider when you're doing wiring in a foot box is that, um, yeah, your foot box is where your pedals live. So you don't really want the wire to drape down and get, you know, caught on a pedal. So I've gone ahead and routed this wire along with the uh, power line to my console back behind this sort of steering column bulkhead plate thingus. Around the back here and then down the middle of the console or the side of the console. This is the toggle switch I'm using. This came out of a Nissan van, but it's the same as what came with my Pathfinder for the fog lights. So it's got this little um, LED on it here. So when you turn the switch on, the LED comes on. How does it do this, and how do you wire it? Well, you've got um, four connections on the back. Basically, two switches. Between those switches, you've got an LED. So, if you follow the uh, little note down here, you wire this side to positive, then this side goes to your load, which in this case is going to be a relay coil. Then this side, which side of this do you connect to ground? Well, if you connect this side to ground, then that light's going to be on all the time. If instead you connect this side to ground, because these two switches move together, when this switch closes and the load is live, 
the switch is closed and the light is alive. But there's an easier way to do it. Basically you just flip um, positive and load. So you put positive to here. Oh, forgot to draw the LED. And then you put this to load. And now you can hook either side of this to ground and it won't care. Because this doesn't get positive until that switch shuts. And if both switches are shut, you can go all the way around. So this is the way I'm going to wire it and that way I don't have to think about which side I put the ground on. So we got the switch, I've got constant positive coming in here, and I've got switch positive here going to the light which is grounded. Don't have that going anywhere yet. So, turn it on, light comes on, turn it off, light goes off. Now if I take this uh, ground lead here, and I hook it on to this pin, that light comes on. It comes on whether the light is on or not. Hook it to this pin, and it's on with the load. Now depending on your application, one or the other might actually be better. I switch these round here. Once again, light turns on and off. And um, say so hook it on that side. Works. Hook it on that side. Also works. So some of you might think I'm a little paranoid to use a relay on a uh, circuit with LED lights. Because LED lights just generally don't draw that much power. Why am I bothering? Well, I don't want to replace the, uh, <laughs> the position sensor on my transmission, and I don't know how many extra amps it can take, um, but I don't want to find out by smoking it. That said, I am kind of curious how many amps these drop, so I've got my meter set up here, and let's just go ahead, and I do have it on volts, good. Okay, so we got about 12 and a half volts out of the battery, Okay, so somewhere around 2.4 amps. So if we do a little simple math with what I just got there, these work out to about charitably 14 and a half watts a piece. The uh, listing said they were 18 watt, but <laughs> again, I paid like 15 bucks for these. So uh, yeah, I kind of expected that. So are they as powerful as they were advertised? Yeah, probably not. Are they powerful enough? I'm going to say yeah. Okay, well, I went ahead and pulled the seat out here. I'm just routing the wire through the uh, bundle here with all the other wires. This may look daunting, but, you know, I've had this truck pretty much completely apart, or at least the interior completely apart, so, yeah. <laughs> I've seen it naked. I'm not afraid of it anymore. Okay, I got the wire run all the way up along with the factory wires. And then into the uh, quarter panel here, I'm just going to zip tie that to the factory harness. And that all goes down into there. But I would have put my lights in here. So, I'm looking at that quarter panel, and that looks like a rubber bone. Oh. Oh, oh. Now I'm just going to poke a little hole in this and pass that wire through, because if I leave this out, Mickey will get here. And Mickey will crap in my truck. There we go. Little hole poked in it, wire stuck through, custom rubber bung. There we go. Okay, so here's where I want to mount these things. I want to mount them right over the tow bar, but under the bumper. So they're kind of hidden if you walk real close to the truck. And they're not um, right in harm's way for snow. Because you know I'm going to back into a snow pile in this thing. I do it every year. Or at least I know I'm going to back it into something. So, the question then, how do I mount it up? Well, Nissan put these uh, little tie-down points on the frame. They're not really tow points. That's not to say I haven't used them. And I got a piece of angle iron. You just slip in and bolt onto it. Obviously, I'll be trimming it for length. And then the uh, brackets on these, you just bolt right onto the angle iron. Can slide right into the heat sink. 
I'll have to cut a hole for um, putting tension on the adjuster there, but I think that'll work pretty well. Okay, so I got a piece of angle iron with a hole cut so I can adjust it. Probably need to trim that, but test fit here. Yeah, I'll need to trim that. So I mount it all the way back, but um, yeah, I like that. Cool. Okay, I got the first light all mocked up here. If I can get you around the exhaust pipe, you can see how I've done that. I went ahead and made a plate for the back, put a couple of uh, bolts through it. Put that into the angle iron. Can I get you in there? Yes. So yeah, the angle iron just bolted right through. As you can see, there's not a whole lot of thread engagement. I need longer fasteners. But, proof of concept. Okay, and here's the uh, passenger side light with the uh, bracket piece. So yeah, that'll just go through that hole in the frame and I can start wiring. Okay, I got the two of them wired up here. I just uh, basically extended their pigtails together and then wired them down to a plug. This plug I'm using actually came with the truck. <laughs> it had two license plate lights when I got it and the bracket was rotted out so I just put in a single universal light had a plug left over so yeah use it for this. I did try buying a new plug that was supposed to be all weatherproof and nice and everything and then I went to put it together and one of the little locking pieces broke. Um, it wouldn't go in and I tried to force it and it said oh no you don't either so yeah. I used these zip ties here to hold the uh, wiring onto the back of the tow bar and I'm just gonna clip them off here. But when you do that, you leave this really sharp end that you just know you're gonna catch yourself on. So what I like to do is just uh, realize that my torch is dead again. There we go. Just give it a second with the torch. You don't want to melt the whole thing, but yeah, it's still a little sharp there on the edge. There we go. But yeah, you get it to where it won't uh, draw blood if you touch it accidentally. <laughs> Sounds stupid until you've bloodied your knuckles on one. Alright, got the uh, plug on there. And with it all buttoned up, I can just go ahead and hide the evidence of most of my crimes here. <laughs> Sticking my license plate back on. Alright, so again, here it is with the stock bulbs. Sort of see a bright spot on the ground there. There we go. God damn, that's bright. What the hell is this guy doing there? Get off my shifter. Come on. No, I'm not taking you wheeling. Oh, bastard. <laughs> 